Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas. I am on my way into town to go to the works Christmas lunch. I'm gonna have, I think I selected a turkey dinner, but it's so long ago I can't actually remember what my options were, but I'm sure I selected something tasty. I've just had a lazy morning, um, I've done a bit of tidying, and I've got some washing to fold, which isn't very exciting. I don't know where a good place to sit you is while I fold my washing. It's actually mostly cloths. I really like the kind of scouring abrasiveness of stuff at the moment. I can't seem to stop scrubbing things, which isn't bad because the flat's nice and tidy. So my cloth cupboard is very clean and tidy. I've got some hankies to fold as well. Why well, you keep scrubbing every day and then having to wash everything? It must be a pregnancy thing because. I'm not usually one for cleaning much. <laughs> What's going on with this one? All my colour coded cloths as well. Green ones for the floor, red ones for the surfaces. I've not been that impressed with these cloths. Who cares what I think about cloths? <laughs> it's an odd thing. But they, um, you can see they stain really easily. They, the seam on them is weird, so they don't go back to like a nice, even rectangular shape. And they're really thin and they get holes quickly. I'm quite lucky here because the bus comes pretty much right outside my house. Um, so I'm gonna gonna go get that now. I'm wicked, I'm sorry. So that Christmas dinner was actually a couple of days ago now. I didn't vlog anymore afterwards. The service was really slow at the restaurant, which was really frustrating because I was really hungry when we got there. I thought the table was booked for one o'clock, it was booked for half past one, and then the lunch didn't come. Um, the starters, I think, came out at two o'clock, and the mains came out at like 20 to three. So I demolished that. And then it was my um, niece's birthday that evening. Everything was just a bit of a rush. And then I was tired afterwards, but I am back now. The food itself was okay. I just was a bit disappointed that the service was slow. We were at the Armoury in town, in Shrewsbury, if, if you know it. I don't know if you do. So today me and Trevor are both off. We're just gonna have a quiet day at home. I am gonna go out for a walk. I'm still trying to um, do as much walking as I can, although I can't walk as far and I walk a lot slower. I'm gonna, gonna get out today so I don't get too stir crazy from sitting in all the time. Still just waiting for the baby to arrive. It's getting a little bit frustrating because everywhere is like tidy and clean and ready to go. Um, just waiting. I'm doing a little bit of my project life. I'm quite behind this year. I think I'm just gonna do like a couple of pages catch up for 2018. I'm having a peanut butter bagel for lunch. <laughs> I'm spreading it on the sofa. An Amazon order has just arrived. I'm really excited about these little glass bottles. So I have plans for these glass bottles. Um, this is a spray that I use in the bathroom, which is an old plastic bottle. It's been reused a few times. It's kind of sticky and horrible. It originally came with ooh, vinegar in it, and now it's got a mix of vinegar, water, and essential oil. And this one, which is also going to be replaced, was the Method kitchen spray. And there's just a little bit left in that. I'm not sure if I've refilled that one or if the bottle is just quite thin plastic. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be making my own spray. So still with the Wilco's vinegar. After I've finished this spray bottle, um, I'll get one of those, you know, the really big like five litre ones. So I'll be going through less plastic, hopefully. Um, yeah, so a third. A third white vinegar, the rest topped up with water. And then I've been using this tea tree and lemon um, essential oil, which came with the cheeky wipes. And you only need like five drops of it and it actually overpowers the smell of the vinegar. Cause I used to just clean the bathroom with vinegar. It was a bit smelly, but it did a good job. And I've been quite impressed with that one. So I'm gonna make these bottles up. So they have got an on and off switch on them. 
Trevor has brought more grapes, which I'm very grateful for. The cold water is freezing. I'm just giving those a wash off before I put them in the freezer. And he also brought in a pineapple because apparently there's an enzyme in pineapples that can induce labor. We've ordered a curry for tea and it's just arrived. Let's see what we've got. That's the tasty goodness. Oh, it's got poppadoms in it. Mm. So we've got some onion bhajis and poppadoms to start with. And then we're sharing a pilau rice and there's a kima naan. And two curries. Trevor's got lamb rogue and Josh wash it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I had a uh, spinach one. I can't remember what it's called. Sag. 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 Saguala. Saguala, I think. Chicken saguala. This is a massive plate, but I tell you what, it's really good. The curry was good, we saved half each for tomorrow, and we're having some fresh pineapple for pudding.